Welcome to a wonderful, windy and wild Maasai Mara. And we are here. I'm not sure why FC is shouting, but they are shouting. Um, but we are live from Kenya and some spectacular news is that the migration has arrived. It has arrived much earlier than everyone expected. Unfortunately, the main section of the migration is quite far from here and we don't have signal at the moment. But these are the forerunners. We're only about six and a half kilometers from Talek Gate. My name is Brentley o. Smith. I forgot to say I've got Dangerous Dave East or Jamie keeping us company down below. And uh, this is the, the first of the migration here you, you just you can just see a few zebras now you think oh one or two zebras what nonsense is Brent talking the migration has arrived and uh, if we go off into the distance and Dave's gonna show you now the wind is really howling at the moment but look at that. So the zebras are quite often the forerunners because they keep the grass nice and short. They don't mind long grass. And then the wildebeest come in beyond them. Now, you can just see that hill is littered with zebras. Uh, where's that large? Now, you can't really see it. They're too far. But beyond those zebras, that hill that's in the light, the wildebeest are just on the other side of that rise. And they are coming in thick and fast. Remember, all questions are to hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. But there we go. You can see a little bit. And this is right at the head of there. Some wildebeest there to the right. There are a few wildebeest in this, interspersed amongst the zebra but there are definitely more zebra with the forerunners up ahead here. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm being so silly. There's some wildebeest right next to me. <laughs> Over there, Dave. <laughs> right next to us. Um, <laughs> there's some wildebeest. Uh, you can see that distinct white beard, uh, which makes them a little bit different from our wildebeest back on Juma. And you can see there's still zebra, zebra, zebra everywhere spread all around. And uh, I know a lot of people have been asking for Eland. Uh, well, look at that wind, the beard blowing in the wind there. It's quite fetching. Um, looks like It's like Eggsy when he's out in the wind. Uh, Eggsy, oh, and you can see the rain that's around us. So we've actually even put the roofs on today. We've taken the camera off twice. We're hoping we're gonna be able to stay out, uh, but there is a lot of rain around. There, those nice big bull Eland. So I'm, I, I apologize, the wind is really, really strong, so I am battling to hear, um, but I think it's Edward who's asking, why do zebras have stripes? Well, there's a whole bunch of different uh, conflicting arguments in certain cases about why a zebra has stripes. Um, some people think it is uh, for uh, camouflage, and you think camouflage. What nonsense is Brent talking yet again? But remember, most of the, the, the predators see in various shades of grey and, and I still think they see a bit of colour. Uh, but also, when there's a massive herd of zebras and uh, a lion tries to grab one, all of them running together can create some confusion. I think that's probably the main reason they've adapted those stripes. There's some wildebeest just arriving over that hill. Um, so as I say, uh, it's really windy here. We're completely surrounded by rainstorms. But there we go, there's some wildebeest and zebra just arriving. Okay, sorry final control, you're gonna to have to say that again, I am really struggling to hear you. Okay, so and we made the big mission to come all the way out here to find the migration and, and find the migration we did. And we're going to keep moving because we're a really long way from home and we don't want to be naughty and in the park after park times. So while we move on, uh, let's go across to Taylor to see what she's found in South Africa.